In this video today, I want to talk to you guys about the Sarion and why he is a very, very strong pick in RTA, especially in the current meta. The Sarion is one of those rare units in the game that bring Oblivion debuff. And why is that so good? When you look at World Arena, you go to replay. You can click on any replay right here. I can assure you the Sarion can be picked in either side. Info, you have Vert here, you have Perna, Triana here. See, the Sarion in the first random replay that I click on. In the current meta, where Vanessa, Vert, Fran, Diana are very, very popular picks, the Sarion is a very strong counter to Vanessa, Diana, and Vertahau. Every fight, there's some passive that you can shut down with the Sarion. Perna here, Vertahau here. So my point is, you can pick him all the time, he'll be your main damage dealer, he will counter any passive, he'll provide armor break for all the damage dealers to do damage as well. There's not really a wrong time to pick the sound unless people draft 5 water unit, but you know, that never happened. It's always Vanessa, Vert, Fran, Perna, Diana. You see those all the time. In the RTA tier list by top Korean player, he is ranked as high as Garo and better than Fire Monkey. Even though Fire Monkey should be strong against Gany Hathor, but when Gany Hathor is like triple S tier, but here we have the sound ranked even higher than Fire Monkey. Also, this passive increased damage by 30% if enemy has debuff, namely Oblivion or Armor Break, which he can provide and continuous damage as well. The passive allows you to do more damage than you expect him to do on a hybrid build like what I'm using right now, no crit damage. So how to ruin the Sarion? Mai is currently on Violent Will, Speed, HP, and Attack. Never go full attack like Speed Good Damage Attack, or never go full tank like Speed HP Defense or Speed HP HP. Because he has the potential to do a lot of damage, his skill 1 skill with speed do very very decent damage in the passive as well, so he can do damage. But you also want him to stay in the fight so that he can put Oblivion on consistently because it may get resisted and when you see the sound get past the bend and pick phase, people may just shut him down immediately because nobody wants to get Oblivion. Some units rely on the passive to work. If they don't have it, like Perna, Diana, Garo, they just become very useless or vertical. So you either go with crit damage slot 4 or attack slot 6 and the other slot will be HP. Violent, in my opinion, is so important. Will or not, not too important. You can go revenge, you can go focus, you can go whatever runes that give you a lot of stats. It depends on your team. If you have immunity buffer like Wusa, Fran, um, Velaju on very, very speedy runes, you don't have to worry about him being on will because you have immunity buffer. If that is your playstyle, you can go with focus, revenge, blade you know whatever but if you're like me i play with a mix of different unit my runes are not crazy fast i prefer him to be on will so that he don't just suddenly die to enemy bomb or armor break followed by a perna those are very common so you want to be on will so this note sw g3 player he has a perna so definitely his perna is gonna be the best fire bruiser that he own but let's take a look at his Tessarion, who is on Violent Focus, Speed, Quick Damage, and HP. Look at these runes, they are grinded, they are fast, very very good runes. And he wants his Tessarion to survive as well, being on HP, but also can do a lot of damage. That 177 quick damage and decent attack stat is insane. I think Violent is a must, because most of the time you will see a Tessarion being picked against a Perna. And when you have a chance to land Oblivion and Armor Break with skill 2 on a Perna and you get a Violent proc, you want to be in a position so that you can kill the Perna immediately. And sometimes it's a game of chance. If the chance is being given to you, you need to utilize that chance the best way you could. Damn it, I can't kill it. I can't kill no, oh. <laughs> it. Right? So you want to be on some sort of damage and Violent and you can kill a Perna immediately. Perna are very, very sushi. You don't have to do insane damage to kill a Perna. As long as you apply that Armor Break Oblivion, you do extra 30% damage, and this Mega Smash will make sure the Perna will stay dead. 
but you also don't want to be on speed good damage attack because you may accidentally kill Perna before you can put Oblivion on. Never first pick because when you first pick Tessarion, you don't really follow any form of strategy. You can start picking Tessarion after that, depending on the enemy. But for me, I can pick Tessarion all the time because enemy always go with Vert and Diana. Like, I always see them. Tessarion works in many different kind of team. You can go crowd control, you can go immunity, you can go... We can go anything with the Sarion in it and he's still gonna perform well because he provide armor break for your CC team to more damage. He alone can make Vertahau as good as a slam. Because when you're bleeding Vertahau, he just he doesn't do damage anymore. Vertahau and RTA meta, they don't have attack. They may do more damage as time go by, but at the start, they, they don't really do anything. So when you oblivion them, they become very very useless and become a dead weight on the battlefield and with that I do 22k damage on, on the vert same goes for a perna that will immediately send a perna with armor break and oblivion on to, to the storage so with the Sarion, all these passive units that require their passive to actually do something immediately shut down and you can deal with them no sweat very easy so, always a good pick in the current meta and please, please invest in a decent Tessarion because you will find him super useful. If I have a Garo here, who is also a very good fire damage dealer, I won't be able to control that Vert or the Diana as well because no Oblivion and the stun on Garo has a cooldown. Different from the Oblivion that can happen every single turn. Alright, let's do a fight where... I'll pick the Sarion, no matter what. Like I can blind pick the Sarion, <laughs> just because they will pick something that my Tessarion will be useful against. Watch this, okay? He gets the first pick. Come on, bring out a passive unit. What's it gonna be? <laughs> oh, Kianos? It's fine. Like I can pick the Sarion first, no problem. I'm gonna pick Fran as well. Fran is amazing. See, look at that. I don't even need to counter anyone. They just pick right into my Tessarion. Fran is amazing with Tessarion, giving him a tank buff. Much better than Wusa can support Tessarion and Clans as well. That's amazing. So now he picked this, which means I may not pick Vert, but I can ban that later. So I can pick Vert. I'm going to pick um, Monkey so that I can deal with the, the stupid thing over there and Hathor. So there are two stun units on the other side. Fire Monkey make perfect sense in this draft as well. But the Sarah might be a little bit weak against the two super super popular water damage dealer in the meta, namely Shiho and Eager. They destroy the Sarion. See, he, he just, <laughs> he's probably gonna ban the Sarion even if he pick like this. Okay, I can pick another immunity. He may ban Monkey though, and I'll be good. Okay, um, what do I want to do here? There's so many things I can do. I can pick, um, there's a lot of things I can do here. Not too sure what I should do. I can pick Shiho actually. Or should I pick another support? I think I'll go safe with another support. And I'll ban enemy immunity so that all my stuff will be pretty effective. Oh, I can ban enemy. Okeanos, and then he has no more stripper. All right, we go this, and what can he do? Oh, fast Triana, not very good for him. <laughs> he going for the strip. He get one unit, not too important. He trying to stun, and now I can sleep the other two. Okay. The sound triple crush also pretty good against Triana passive. Go right through it easily. Okay, he's going for the front. Damn, that was scary. Okay, Oblivion. Nice Oblivion. Um, do I heal? Yes, I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna heal. He has full attack bar because he's on Nemesis. Nemesis Garo is super annoying. Just saying, sleep that thing. And we're gonna try to stun it. Not happening. Bye bye. Okay. We gonna. Um, I'm not gonna wake up anybody. I'm just gonna do damage on this Triana and try to stun it. Nice stun. These two. Only Varan can violent proc, so I think I should be fine. I'm attack break on this boy. I'm gonna try to. I popped a passive already, 
So I'm gonna bring this boy down because he has armor break. With armor break, anything over there can start doing some decent damage on me. Oh, I have to stun Varad or else I'll be in trouble. Stun? Nice. That's why Fran is so good. The stun rate is ridiculous. I think they may nerf it. Like, <laughs> I strongly think they may nerf it because it's just too good to be true. So the sound right here allow me to kill um, Garo very easily compared to any other picks that I can do. But right here, I may have some trouble. Not really. <laughs> I still have Fire Monkey, which can do a lot of damage to, to whoever over there, Armor Break. Because it's a triple crush, three chance for me to do Armor Break. It has a pretty decent chance to Armor Break Water too, if you ask me. But I think I'll be in a little bit of trouble here with the Violent Procs from this Varad man. <sighs> Not good. Not good. Oh my god, too much stun. Okay, I'm gonna change target. I'm gonna change target, okay? I'm gonna try and kill this Triana. Very nice damage, nice violent prop, and we got this. And we can auto now because there's no way a Varad can kill a she uh, not Shiho, Meho Wang. <laughs> I really use my Fire Monkey now so that I keep <laughs> I keep calling him the Water One. Oblivion that thing, please. Thank you. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. And then we're gonna Oblivion this thing, and then we Reckless. Ha 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 ha. Work like clockwork, right there. No RNG involved, just pure skill and speed tuning. Oblivion, okay. Wake me up, thank you. Thank you, don't sleep me, don't sleep me. Don't you dare sleep me. I need to reckless. Okay, see, work like clockwork. I love it. All right, guys, that was my opinion on Tessarion. Let me know in the comment section down below if you want to hear my opinion on other meta unit and how you build them for RTA to be more effective. Of course, I'm a C3 G1-ish player, not too crazy, but I hope my opinion will be more relatable to you in that sense. And I hope you enjoy watching. I'll try to make more educational RTA stuff for you. And I'm also trying to get G1 this season. So if you want to support that journey, go on Twitch, drop me a hello, like keep going. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video as soon as possible. Bye.